So these are the six core principles of ACT. And for anything to work, we have to work first. If somehow we're not taking actions to escape from this happiness trap, we may be up against any one of these four obstacles as described in the book. They are in the acronym of FEAR, F-E-A-R. Fusion, excessive expectations, avoidance of discomfort, remoteness from our values. Now, fusion is common because our thinking self is frequently telling us stories, whether they are true or not. They're telling us that we are a failure, that um, I don't think you can make it, that uh, people are disliking you, uh, how do you know this is true, how do you know that this will work, and so on, right? So use the fusion to diffuse it and make sure that we, we put that distance between our thoughts and the words so that we can see our thoughts as itself. Focus our energy into doing things that is meaningful in our lives. Excessive expectation may occur if we have this huge goals at the start and we will feel discouraged when we cannot achieve it. That is why it is stopping us in taking action because we are expecting perfection instead of progress. Next, the more we avoid discomfort, the harder it is for us to take action to change. We have to understand that discomfort is part of changes and when we finally achieve our goals, satisfaction and pleasure will follow. Last but not least, it may be that you do not feel uh, connected enough with your values to take effective actions. And you need to be clear on what's important in your life so that you can connect with them. Also, make sure that your goals are in line with your values so that they can give you inspiration and motivation for you to create this meaningful life that you desire. And finally, if we were to summarize the six core principles of ACT, it can be done so in ACT as well. A stands for accepting our thoughts and feelings and be present. C is to connect with our values. T is to take effective actions. Now this book has truly given me new perspective into how we can accept and acknowledge that negative or unhelpful feelings will be part of our lives. And what we should do is not to get rid of them or suppress them, but make room and accommodate and accept them for what they are and focus this energy into taking value-guided action that will give us a rich, full and meaningful life. I thank you so much for watching, wish you well and see you in the next video. I hope this video has brought value to you. If it did, give me a thumbs up, comment below or share it with a friend you care about because you're not just sharing a video, you're sharing content that could make a difference in people's lives. And remember to hit the subscribe button or the notification bell to be notified of my weekly learnings from the books I've read on relationship, business, and personal development. Thank you. Do check out these other books I've reviewed. I hope they'll bring more value to you and inspire you to bring out your best potential. If you like this, hit the subscribe button and be part of the journey to inspire learning. Leon here, wishing you well and see you in the next video.